Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. What up, chat? I know there's like a minute and a half left, but I thought, eh, you know, I'm ready. So, screw it. We're here. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's get to the tool stream. So, happy Wednesday to you all. Hope you have a uh, good um, point way to your week, I hope. Um, so, just before I start stream, announcement was made for New World that we're going to get seasons. This is going to be the um, same as any other game of seasons. It's going to be a season, free season and a premium season. But these seasons are more like um, seasons, like, you know, spring, summer, autumn seasons. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this. <clears throat> so, seasons, announcements, and facts and questions. Okay, what we got? Creature adventures get more into the journey for around Artyom when seasons come to New World on March 28th. Uh, look forward to more frequent content, like new features, gameplay experiences, and season pass with two reward tracks, the free and premium. Each reward track will feature a hundred tiers of unlockable rewards for new emotes, skins, gear, and other, se other seasonal loot. Okay, so I think that's a good idea for this game. It gives people something to do now. Uh, what is the Season Pass? Uh, the Season Pass introduces new ways for players to earn meaningful rewards, just like uh, by playing New World. Players will earn season XP, level up, and unlock rewards as they progress through other activities. I've got my headset on the wrong way around. <laughs> Our goal with seasons is to consistently provide something fresh for every type of player. So, as we can see, we've got a free track. I'm going to go full screen for this so you can see. So, like any of us season pass in any game, you have a free tier. And you have a premium tier. <clears throat> but by the looks of it, with a free tier, unlike most games where you get from, you start level one, you get something, but the next free item is like tier five, and then tier eight, or something like that. Every tier gives you something in the free season pass. Which is good. And by the looks of it, the legendary gear is like level 10, so every 10 levels. But at least you're getting some in between. And like some games, you don't get this. Destiny, you don't get this in a free season pass. You get shite, basically. So that looks interesting. <clears throat> the free track is completely free all players and grants a variety of helpful rewards like new skins, pets, marks of fortune, boost tokens, seasonal weapons, and armor. Umbral shards, Egyptian orbs, and caches of materials. So... You know, at least you're getting some out of it for just for free pass. Premium track, which by the looks of it is a lot of stuff for premium. But even with free stuff, it looks like you're getting good gear. <clears throat> Players who have reached level 25 will also have the option to purchase the premium track for additional rewards, such as cosmetics, additional marks of fortune, boost tokens, and even more seasonal loot. Players can opt in to the premium track at any point during the season and will retro retroactively receive all eligible rewards. At the end of the season, only any unearned unique seasonal rewards will be vaulted. So the best thing to do is get through it as fast as you you know, get through it before the season ends. And, you know, or you'll get vaulted, like most games do. Season XP. Oh, out of breath. The Season Journey, Challenges, and Activity Card all give a player's seasonal XP. Season XP can also be gained through other activities, quests, faction missions, town projects, exhibition bosses, outposts rush, 3v3 arenas, and more. So, as well as doing stuff in the world, expeditions and that, you get, by the looks of it, you get challenges, like you would, and if it's like Fortnite, for example, they give you... Uh, a little challenges to do while you're in game. For this, you'll get extra XP towards your season pass for doing so. Again, good thing. Season journey. Season journey 
available to players level 25 and up, so you've got to be at least level 25 and over in-game level, is a way of tracking your progress throughout the season. It is broken down into chapters based on the season story with rewards for completing specific tasks inside each chapter. So, again, more things to actually do. People complain about this. It's, it's, they're going to be stupid. Uh, season challenges. Seasonal challenges are the most difficult objectives each season. These may prove more difficult, but their rewards are higher than the seasonal journey. The activity stamp card. Oh, we've got a stamp card now. Okay. The seasonal minigame further awards adventures for daily play. Each stamp location features icons that correspond to a specific activity, like complete a mutated expedition. Complete activities and stamp spaces for season XP. Players will receive bonus experience as four lines. Um, diagonal, vertical, or horizontal. Are completed, so I guess you have to like um, connect four kind of thing. Uh, if the activities on your current stamp card aren't to your liking, you can re-roll them in exchange for Azov. Completed stamps will remain, but all activities, including completed ones, will be replaced with new ones. So that's that. So the first season, season one, is going to be Fellowship and Fire. Enjoy new narratives and more as part of our season, our first season, Fellowship and Fire. New story, The Silver Crows. Assemble an elite team of mercenaries called the Silver Crows to help their first client, Sky, the Spear Daughter, confront a powerful warlock and the, the, the Vara, Varangian Horde and halt their ambitions amidst the flames of a brand new expedition. Imperium Forge. Imperium. Imperium Forge? Looks like Imperium Forge. New expedition. Damn, alright. It's Okay. I like the armor. This reminds me of the uh, Destiny Fire armor. The Imperium Imper Imperium Forge is a new level 60 plus expedition set in the Great Cleave. Team up with uh, Sir Loth, a knight of Artrius. To stop the flow of mysterious magic deep within the Natrop. Necropolis. Necropolis. Big, big, big up this. Also, there's a new heart ruin ability. Firestorm. So your heart ruin is like, um, you have the corrupted one where you go in there like an angel and stamp on the ground, or you send vines out with another one. This is going to be a new heart ruin ability. Create a tornado that damages targets in its path. You can also craft more powerful versions of the heart gem to fit your playstyle. Alright. <clears throat> New mechanic, gear set storage. Oh, hold on, we're getting the loadouts now? Need to quickly swap gear for mutated expeditions? You'll now be able to save and switch between your favorite gear sets after reaching level 25. Additional slots can be earned through the season pass or purchased with marks of fortune. So basically we're getting now is, we're getting loadouts for our armor. So if you can, you can make each set for, you know, you can have a set for each mutations for expeditions, or if you're doing PvP, or, you know, what have you. Uh, Weaver's Fen and Brightwood main storyline quest revamp. The Weaver's Fen and Brightwood main storyline is getting an overhaul based on player feedback and improvements made to the revamped starting experience. Experience these two familiar territories through a fresh narrative. More quest variety and a new, a few new surprises. So they're completely rehauling the first missions then. The the with the Weaver Finn and Brightwood missions. Oh, that actually sounds interesting. Seasonal events, new threats, festivities, and more will also come to Artrium throughout each season. Rabbit's revenge. Oh fuck. Well, this is gonna get me in Zyron. Corrupted rabbits have returned to Artrium. Hunt them down to obtain special event-specific rewards. And then you got Springtime Bloom. Oh wow, they are really putting into this now. The time of awakening has arrived. Springtime Bloom calls its children to share an ancient secret capable of granting true freedom. Help the enigmatic egg Bloom Herald unveil, unravel the mysteries of the Averell Wispy Bloom and collect Springtide's fertile bounty of limited time rewards. 
harvest with caution as swarms of vile, wispy wasps guard the blooms with fury. Fury of the sp the Spriggard. Spriggan. Spriggan? Uh, the Earth has been restless since the Enod awoke. Cooperate in open world encounters to defeat Dryads and a mighty Spriggan for event specific daily rewards. Alright. I, I mean, I'm in. I'm I'm in. I I'm I'm i I'm down. I, I'm I'm just I'm going. F I'm. Sh uh, why? Okay, so we've got fact fa f and Qs, facts and questions. Why are we switching to seasonal model? Moving forward, our plan is to update New World in a predictable three month cadence. Through seasons, we will introduce more content and experience for all players to enjoy. What can I expect from future seasons? Each season will last approximately three months and introduce new features and gameplay experiences. Feature a unique season pass for players to earn impactful rewards through new activity cards, challenges, and more. Include new limited time premium track rewards like cosmetics. How much is the premium track upgrade and how can I purchase it? The premium track upgrade will cost 3,000 marks of fortune. It will be purchased through the seasons tab. There will be 100 levels of both free and premium tracks. Players who purchase the premium track will earn rewards across both tracks. So wait, there's 100 levels of free and premium? So you're getting basically 200 rewards. If you're never going to buy the season the premium part, you've got the free track of 100 rewards. But if you do buy the premium as well, you get another 100 items. So that's 200 items. That is... That's, that's good, actually. Damn. Isn't this a form of pay-to-win? All of the non-cosmetic premium track rewards will also be earned through the free track and normal gameplay. The premium track adds 100 levels of additional rewards, giving players the opportunity to get more in-game items. The gear rolled from these rewards will not exceed a 600 gear score and does not include any unique perks that cannot be found in-game. Premium track cosmetics do not provide any additional benefits. It's cosmetic stuff. It's going to be no different to what's... Already in the game for the perks, it's just all cosmetics. So it's not pay to win because you're not getting an advantage from it. You're not getting special armor that's got special perks on it. You're getting cosmetic items. It's cosmetic skins, I'm guessing, to go on your armor pieces. What are boost tokens? Boost tokens are time based catch up mechanics that provide tempor temporary quality of life conveniences. They do not affect stats or provide any advantage in combat. Okay, so that's basically just to, um, extra XP, basically. Uh, how will Season Pass work across multiple characters on the same account? Season Pass will work across multiple characters in the same world or region. Rewards can only be claimed once per region, but can be claimed on any, any character that has unlocked the premium rewards track at level 25. Progress will not transfer if players switch regions. So, yeah, that's basically what we're looking forward to. And you know what? I enjoy this game as it is. And I'm really going to freaking enjoy it when all this comes out. Holy hell, yeah. I, I, I can't wait. So if anyone's interested, put that in your calendars. Because I know I am. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah. That is what is... That's the roadmap for this year. That's the roadmap for seasons. And everything else they're bringing to the game. And I can't freaking wait. That means I've got to pay, when this comes out, I've got to focus on New World and Destiny 2. Because Destiny 2 is going to come out with its new DLC next week. And then New World will come out, I'm guessing, spring. The beginning of spring when the first season comes out. So, yeah. More New World, more Destiny. I'm trying to think of what's anything else I can put in there at the same time. Until I get Hogwarts Legacy, then no, that's it. Damn. That is going to be um, interesting. But today, and until 7th of March, we are focusing now on Legacy of Crap.